Rob from RobsHealthCrunch.com. Today I want to talk a little bit, on this video, I want to talk a little bit about the, my latest article called Why Intermittent Fasting Doesn't Guarantee Weight Loss. Now, a lot of people seem to think that if you start, well, there's a, there's a, there's a it's kind of like a rumor out there, I would say, that if you go into intermittent fasting, it's the solution to weight loss and you'll certainly start dropping the pounds, but it's not true. It's just not true. It's all about what you eat, not how often you eat. Of course, if you eat less, you're gonna be consuming less calories, which in turn, of course, means you're gonna be potentially getting less fat. But the problem is, if you, if you um, continue eating nasty foods, i.e. the standard American diet, which contains basically everything cookies, desserts, bread, pasta, noodles, rice, all the carbohydrate group, you know, made of wheat and grains, that's the main part of the triangle, the pyramid, and uh, a little bit of meat, just a little bit of meat and fish up on the top here. You're just gonna keep eating bad food and that's, that's full of carbohydrate, which turns into glucose in the bloodstream, which basically has to be pumped out of your system by your insulin, and the insulin has to pump it into your triglycerides, fat cells where it stays locked away and that causes insidious weight gain over time. So now, just by reducing your, your food intake to two times a day, let's say at one o'clock and seven o'clock or whatever, two and eight, um, you're not eliminating that problem. So the only way to actually make intermittent fasting work, plus I wanna go back a step, um, because if you're a so-called sugar carbohydrate metabolism and burner, that's how you get your energy, you, you, need that, you need that food to have energy, otherwise you just, you're just down. You feel weak and you feel tired and you feel grumpy. That's a fact. I remember I used to be like that. Uh, I've, been, I've been a fat burner now for six years, but I remember what it was like before. Like right now it's one o'clock in the afternoon, I haven't eaten. I've done an exercise already on, on my fasting, great. So um, you, 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 if you don't eat in the morning and your, your, your metabolism is carb sugar burner, you're gonna be feeling grumpy and that is stress. That creates stress in the heart. You basically perceive that as a stressful event. So you release cortisol, a fight or flight hormone, and that's really bad for your heart. So it doesn't make sense. All you're doing is, is harming your heart, being stressed until you eat, and then you're okay, and then you, you, next, during the day you may get hungry again, same thing happens, and then you finally eat, and then you go, into, go to sleep, and then the same thing happens again in the morning. So it's, it's just a continuous roller coaster of emotions which you don't want. The only way to make this really work is the magic, the magic pill let's say, or well, the game changer, is basically you have to switch into a fat burner. Become a fat burner. That means you, be, you have to go ketogenic. So you've got to cut out all of the nasty stuff, which it is, everything made from wheat, grains, I mean cereal, pasta, noodles, bread, cakes. I mean, the list goes on. Stop all packaged snacks, processed foods. Stop all sugar, no more sugar. Sugar is not allowed in any shape or form. Honey, no. Fruit, minimize, because fruit contains fructose, which turns into glucose in the bloodstream, same thing. So basically, you gotta cut that out completely. Research on my blog, if you want, or elsewhere, www.robshealthcrunch.com, go to the keto section, and there you'll find a what can I, what the heck can I eat guide. Okay, so you need to transition out of the carbohydrate sugar burning metabolism into the fat burning metabolism. Now, if you deprive your body of all those those nasty foods that turn into glucose, which you're used to eating over so many years, then eventually, it's gonna be a struggle the first two, three weeks, because you're gonna feel withdrawal symptoms, and sometimes you can't sleep, and you have a stomach ache, and you feel a bit sick, dizzy, whatever, but it goes away. And then you suddenly switch, and then you, you suddenly realize, wow, I'm not hungry. I don't feel upset, I'm full of energy. <laughs> I don't need to eat, because you've got, your body then suddenly realizes it can burn fat from inside, from your own fat. And that's when you stop dropping the pounds. It drops off, crazy. And that, then you combine that with intermittent fasting, where you're only eating twice a day instead of three times, boom, that's the golden key. And then the weight just drops off. But the thing is, when you're fat burning, when you're on keto and you're really fat burning, you don't need to eat more than twice a day maximum. You just don't need to, there's no need. So the whole, no need to eat more than twice a day, I should say. Three times a day thing is just something that's been made up, breakfast, lunch, dinner, it's not necessary. Um, and of course, so you, you, you then get into this mode of, of 
of, of, of not eating in the morning, not eating till one o'clock or two, and then you're, you're, during that time, your body is burning more fat during that fasting period because you're not, you're moving, doing things. Like I was, I went for a long walk up a ridge and I did a bunch of body weight exercises with no food, no problem, great. So my body's burning, burning, burning fat during that process because I haven't given it any food. So now I'll eat after this and you know enjoy it. Only small portions, I don't eat a lot. Just, you know, average size. So that's it. That's the, the golden rule, that's the golden key, the golden goose. That's how intermittent fasting really works. If you switch to the right diet, folks. Now anyway, please go to my blog, www.rollshealthcoach.com. Check all my articles there. Or you can go over to my medium.com page. Uh, it's medium.com, Rob Hormont, H-O-U-R-M-O-N-T. 